the name of the doctor killed in yesterday's shooting rampage. She was 32-year-old Tracy Senyi Tam. Today, the hospital gave updates on the injured victims. CBS 2's Rena Roy is live outside the hospital in the Mount Eden section of the Bronx with more. Rena. And Jessica, as you said, police have now identified that victim as 32-year-old Dr. Tracy Singy Tam of Jamaica, Queens. Police say Dr. Henry Bello shot and killed her while she was on the job here before killing her himself. As first responders dropped to the ground and patients barricaded themselves yesterday afternoon, police say Dr. Tracy Singy Tam lay dead from a gunshot wound on the hospital's 17th floor. Another doctor telling us Tam was supposed to be off that day. It was very unfortunate that you know this tragedy happened to her because she was such a nice person. But you know, I guess you know, God is one of angels. Multiple people shot at this location. And purpose armed with the rifle. Authorities say this was the AM-15 rifle Dr. Henry Bello hid in his white coat before shooting six other people at his old workplace. Those victims still recovering at the hospital. The three have been downgraded to be stable and uh, doing quite well. We are happy with their progress. Uh, one particular patient is still uh, critical. Sources say Bello was vocal about feeling discriminated against while working there. The Daily News says he emailed them a letter just two hours before opening fire, saying, quote, this hospital terminated my road to a licensure to practice medicine. And, quote, it remains to be seen if my life is meaningless or disposable. When you say he said he was going to do this. Two years ago when they fired him. When he, he walked he was out the door. Kill people. Well, I didn't hear him say, but talking amongst us, he said it. And he did it. Hospital officials have not confirmed a prior threat from Dr. Bello. Police sources tell us he was searching for a specific doctor who wasn't there at the time, instead, shooting at others, yelling out, quote, Why didn't you help me out when I was getting in trouble? He was going around asking if he was a doctor, he would shoot you. Investigators telling us Dr. Bello also lit himself and the nurses station on fire as staff scrambled to keep themselves and their patients safe. The NYPD says more than 50 911 calls were made. The 45-year-old ended up shooting himself, stumbling into a hallway, collapsing, and then dying there. I think yesterday um, everyone did what they had to do, and today it's sinking in. And the hospital says they are providing significant grief counseling for the staff here on site today. We are told the 16th and 17th floors here are still closed as the investigation continues. Meanwhile, a co-worker of Dr. Tam has set up a GoFundMe account for her family. We're live outside Bronx, Lebanon Hospital. Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.